Hello, in this video, I will show you how you can create your own AWS instance NDB on Brainboard. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is to create it from scratch. Then I'm going to choose AWS as my cloud provider. As a first resource, I will use a region. Then I will configure it. So here will be region and here will be California. Then I will make it bigger to include more resources like VPC and here the VPC I will configure it so it will be the resource name will be Terraform North California advanced configuration here I will need to create the variable so it will be there and then the tags you can actually delete these ones and create another one. It can be name like that. Then I will create my variable. So here it will be VPC Cider scope architecture type will be string. Here the default will be two. And here we're good to go. So this one I will make it bigger. And this one as well. So now I will include Elastic IP. So I'm going to look for it. It's going to be this one. I will configure it so here will be public HTTP instance here the tags here in VPC good. So I look public key. So I need to create a variable public key. So it's going to be here. I need some public key name, then architecture, then string default. This one. And here add so now I have need an internet gateway so this one so now I will configure it so it will be internet gateway gateway advanced configuration The name and then VPC ID is going to be here. Okay, so now this one here I will create a depends on with internet gateway. Okay, so now I will add two AZ. I will configure the first one will be AZ. Like that. Advanced configuration, it will be US 1A. And I will make it bigger. So this. Here, so resource name will be here, and it will be one B. Perfect. Now I need to include 
subnet in the AZ. So it's going to be like that, and I will make it bigger. I will configure it so the subnet will, resource name will be HTTP. VPC ID is this one. Okay. 1A is good. Network here. So the name. And here we're good to go. I'll just check for the variable. So it's going to be network. So the network, I need to create two kind of network. Here, network DB architecture type, the map. Here, default. Good, and then I create another one, so it will be network DB. Here, map, default. And here, we can close. Just want to check, advanced configuration, var, okay. So now we are good. I need to create depends on here. It will be internet gateway. This I will be on the connector. It will be like that. And like that. Okay, so now I want another subnet. So if you want, you can actually still copy paste this one and have the subnet included in the AZ. Okay, then the subnet, I will configure it, so here will be db. VPC is good. Then 1b, yes, it's changed, so it's good. Side the block, good. And here I need to modify, it will be like that. Now, I want to have it here, this one, and here, yeah, for the design, we can have it like that. Depends on, depends on. Okay, now I need VPC routing table. I will include it in the subnet. No, it's not here, it's actually in the VPC. So here, VPC routing table, the resource name will be public California VPC is good advanced configuration here bags side the block it's going to be zero 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 internet gateway 
to get my ID. And here I'm going. So here is good. Now I need a row table association. Row table association is this one in the subnets. I will configure it. So here will be HTTP row table ID. be here advanced configuration and some Natalie okay so this one I can actually add it to connector and it can be here like that Perfect. It's good. Now I need another row table association. Here will be DB. Here will be row table ID. So this one, advanced configuration. Look at it. And it's good. this one and just want to make it a little bit better yeah perfect and this one i can actually have it like that So here I want it to be like that. And this one I can have it like that. Okay. So now what I created that and this one here. And this one. Perfect. And this one as well. Just I want to see this one. And do it again. Okay. So now I need an EC2. Like that. Then here, user key. This one, variable public key. Advanced configuration. We look at it. We don't need the tags here. And yeah. And just observe that everything that I'm doing here will be automatically reflected on my code. So let's continue. So this one. I'm going to have it like that. Then here, bustable EC2T2. In the subnet, so here, like that. The name will be California advanced configuration. We look for var. So 
we are going to create the var mei so here MEI scope architecture type is going to be a string default is going to be mei here description this one So here, yes, is so this is good. Here, instance type we have. T2 micro and here we have key name is going to be key name like that. Then I want another one here. The source name will be DB California here. Bar MEI here is going to be one B is good. Instance type T2 micro key name. Going to be this one. Subnet ID, we have it here. So, here is going to be thanks. Ah. So, here we have VPC security group ID here, and then the other one. Is going to be this one, and we are good to go. And yeah, so now we have it here, so we can make elements a bit bigger so here we need a security group to be here in the VPC so this one we configure it is going to be like that and like that. a little bit bigger perfect so now security group resource name is called administration here California is good advanced configuration hello the name is be called administration and prefix okay here we don't need so here it will be name administration bpc id it's correct here ingress and we're good so I need to like that and like that here I will need security group rule it's going to be here in the security group 
So this one, I rename it, is going to be SSH Cloud configuration resource name SSH. Here from port is going to be 22. Here protocol TCP security group 2 port is going to be 22. Type is going to be ingress. Advanced configuration website the block is going to be here. And we're good. So now we will need cloud configuration security group rule again. So another one still in the security group. This time we will call it ECMP. Now I configure it. So it's going to be EC ICMP. Here from port is going to be 8. Protocol is going to be ICMP. To port is going to be 0. And type is going to be in grass. Advanced configuration. So now we have sign the block. And another one and still in the security group this time we call it public access we configure it so here public access will be public access here from port will be zero protocol minus one AWS okay two port zero and here it will be egress advanced configuration sign a block okay so now i need another security group this one VPC now I configure it so it will be resource name web hello 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 configuration hello ingress here it will be web the tags we don't have them VPC and yes And here we are good to go. So here we have security group rule. This one in the security group. Here it will be HTTP resource name HTTP. Then we have from port we have AT. Here we have TCP. To port we have AT. And here we have ingress. Same block and then configuration and we're good to go here. So now I need other ones. So it will be security group. So this one will be HTTPS. Then here from port will be 443. Here protocol TCP. Port and here will be ingress. Advanced configuration side of block. Mm 
and here we're good to go. So this one, this time I'm going to call it HTTPS. And we need another one, it will be, we configure it as well. So here will be public access web. Then from port is going to be zero here protocol will be minus one here to port will be zero and here type will be ingress okay so side the block we have still same value and here we go so and this time it will be <coughs> public access. So this one, I can actually make it smaller. And here. And here. And now I need, yeah. Another one, so it will be security group rule. <clears throat> I will configure. It will be resource name will be DB. Advanced configuration will be allow DB ingress here will be DB. Tags we can have actually here BBC and here we're good to go. So we'll make it smaller. So this one, let's say, I want it more like that. This one, I want it smaller. Here, and this one, I will make it like that. Here. Perfect. So it's the same size. Now I need security group rule. It's one security group. So DP underscore port. Then we have from port, we have 306. Here it would be TCP to port. And type it will be ingress and inside the block will be me. Apply. So this one I will call it DB. Port. This one will be public access. So security group, I need another one. Here will be public access DB. Here from port will be zero, minus one, to port zero, and here egress. Inside the block, so this one I will call it public access, and then another one, the last one, it will be. 
we don't need another one so here we are good to go with that here we have this and here we have that here I can have text if I want to in the VPC it will be main VPC just to show you actually how it works here the color will be this one here will be 21 6 67 and 100 and here actually text color can be FFF so the text color can be white and here I can make it bigger okay now i can do the same thing for text it will be here it will be db the color here save the color will be fill color this one here 21 6 67 100 and the text color can be white and here we can have it here and the last one can be so here text yes http this one I can make it of course bigger and this one as well like that actually this one I can make it here here will be fill color this one I don't need it was just to show you actually so here I showed you you could create your AWS instance and DB, get the code automatically generated, and then now we will look at the deploy. So here we are in the deploy, and if I want, I can actually do an action, and I can do Terraform action like plan, apply, and destroy. I'm going to do plan. And then Terraform init, state lock, everything should be green. And if you want to deploy it, it's kind of big. If you want to deploy it, you need to stop the current action. Then you can actually apply and, and then the AWS instance NDB will be deployed on your AWS uh, account. I hope this video has been useful for you and if you have any questions, I'm here to help. Have a great day.